Tammy Bruce, Fox News contributor, host of Get Tammy Bruce on Fox Nation. Wow. I mean, the, the stories are tragic and they are unending. Mm -hmm. Including not just this one where the mother and daughter uh, Texans who were killed, a 59-year-old woman, I think, and her 22-year-old daughter. But the, this massive truck with dozens of Ill illegal aliens killed in that crash. Uh, it is a human catastrophe unfolding. It's not covered generally by the media, but this is, is very serious. And when we think about Kamala Harris, you know, this was a tremendous opportunity in an environment that is difficult. If you really are a leader, to be able to make the difference. And now she's spending her time doing, you know, uh, uh, PR for herself uh, with the newspaper that knew that that's what it was and they did it anyway. Uh, and she is complaining about the headlines. And Harris, that tells you everything you need to know. Wow. That it's the headlines that she thinks matter, not why the headlines well, exist. If the leader in Guatemala says, I haven't seen you since June, I mean, you don't need a headline to tell you that you're off the job. Well, I remember he's told her, he said, no, the reason this is happening is because of Biden's policies. So he spoke truth to them. They have shut him out. Wow. First Lady Jill Biden dismissing concerns about the president's mental fitness again during an interview with CBS Sunday Morning. Let's watch. There have been some recent polls that show that quite a few Americans have some questions about the president's current mental fitness. As somebody who spends, I can see you shaking your head. <laughs> yes. So what's your response to that? I think that's ridiculous. Wow. The first lady's remarks come as a recent poll finds that American voters are evenly split on the question of whether the president is mentally fit. And it's things like having him repeatedly telling debunked stories that is making Americans wonder. Here are some of his tallest tales. I used to drive a tractor trailer. Oh, and, uh, awesome. And so I know a little bit about driving big trucks. One of the senior guys on Amtrak, Angelo Negri, and Ange walks up to me and he goes, Joey, baby, grabs my cheek, and I thought the Secret Service was going to blow his head off. I said, I swear to God, true story. He said, big deal, Joey. You know how many miles you travel on Amtrak, Joey? This day. 30 years ago, Nelson Mandela walked out of prison. I had the great honor of being arrested with our UN ambassador on the streets of Soweto trying to get to see him on Robbins Island. You know, if you watch enough, you, the I swear to God true story is almost to tell. I mean, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's the somebody crutch. should should let him know that from his team, I would imagine. It's the crutch. It's the crutch. But he also, keep in mind, this isn't new for, for Joe Biden. Even when you're dealing with plagiarism, which he was caught at doing when he was in college, taking someone else's words, someone else's story, presenting it as his own. That's always been something he seems to have been inclined to do. The problem is, is that he's not, you know, we all misremember. We all have memories of memories the further back things go. Hmm. These are completely constructed. They're completely fabricated. I mean, we can misremember what we were doing in our 20s even, but, but this is not a twist of something that was real. It's false. And for his wife, a, what, normally we look at spouses and families to be the ones to protect us, especially from ourselves. Mm -hmm. She seems to be hyper-partisan, but they had to have made this agreement at the beginning that when they were hiding him away in the basement, that this was, well, for the next four years, we're going to have to pretend that everything is fine, but don't worry, the bureaucracy will run things. She is now caught in having to, when she says it's ridiculous, she's calling a majority of Americans ridiculous. She's calling people who have experienced this in their own lives Without any ridiculous. compunction about doing that. Yeah, and this is, look, uh, we're learning a lot about uh, Jill Biden. I thought she would be protecting her husband, uh, and as a result, the nation, she's not doing either. That's a really interesting point that you make, Be because if, if you're not helping him, you're certainly setting him up for failure. That is correct. It's an interesting dynamic. We don't know her well. Remember, we think we know people because we see them on TV a lot. But the reality is you see a portion of us. And in that particular case, we're learning more. We've learned more about Kamala Harris. We've learned more about Jill Biden. And as a, as a, as a feminist and as a woman, it's disappointing. Uh, but it just means more women need to get out there who are better role models. Okay, and I'll let you drop that mic on that <laughs> note and bring you back next time. My pleasure. This is great. Thank you Tammy, so much, Harris.
Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.